there's a medication that exists that nobody's really talking much about that actually holds the most promise for fighting obesity and is the closest to actually hitting the market that doesn't exist on the market yet. That medication, my friend, is called Cagrosema. Cagrosema is two parts, right? It's caglorinitide and semaglutide. You've heard of semaglutide, of course, because that's what Ozempic is. But you probably haven't heard of caglorinitide because it's a polypeptide that mimics amylin. What is amylin? Well, amylin is a hormone, a non incretin hormone. GLP-1 is an incretin hormone. Uh, but amylin is a non incretin hormone that's responsible for doing a lot of things that GLP-1 and incretin hormone does, like reducing the amount of sugar that your liver makes, slowing gastric emptying. But the one thing that it does uniquely is to make you feel full in your brain. And that's one of the things that we talk about a lot with Manjaro terzepatide is reducing the food noise, right? Not thinking about food. So what Novo Nordisk has done is they've combined these two medicines, an amylin uh, analog and a GLP-1 analog, put them together in one drug, and that's called Kegrosema. It's in phase three clinical trials, which means those wrap up shortly. So we'll hear the trial, top line trial data coming in the second half of 2024, which means at that time, they'll probably submit the information to the FDA, which means in early 2025, we may be seeing Kegrosema hit the market. And if you've heard of Retitrutide, Reta who tried? Retitrutide, Kegrosema's results are very similar to Retitrutide, but Retitrutide won't be on the market for another couple of years. Kegrosema, probably 2025. If you found this video interesting, helpful in any way, please consider liking it, saving it, and sharing it with somebody else who also might find this information helpful because there's a lot of people we need to help, folks. Let's get the word out.